Amen. Good evening. We thank God for bringing us for this podcast again today. I see a lot of progress in my life, fulfilling the will of God for me. So I thank God. So every time I have breathing space <laughs> to do all what God is asking me to do, I will always do it by God's grace. Amen. So I thank God. It's not as if everything is brilliant yet, but at least I have a breathing space. There was a time I didn't have breathing space at all. <laughs> it's not that I was not breathing, but there was no space around me to breathe well. <laughs> it was too tight, but right now I'm free. In some, in, I'm free. Okay, let me call it like I'm free and I have some space. And that is all that God needs to start taking me up again. That is how God has been doing for me. And uh, I thank God today. We wanted to, or let me say, I, I, okay, let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us for this podcast this evening. We return our glory to your name. Thank you for yesterday's work that you sent out and you have used it to speak to us in one way or the other in some ways where we are um we are troubled because i want to believe that many of those things are sending to us they are to encourage us to do your will to stand on the right path father thank you for how you have used it again Father, as we are here again this night please speak to us in the name of jesus almighty father have your way take all the glory take charge in jesus name please Lord of Jesus, <coughs> please speak through me. Take all the glory and let the word of God go in us. Let it speak to the hearts of everyone. Let it touch us at the rightful place we are going to need them. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Yeah, so I wanted to say something before I prayed. I said, and that was since the day started, I've been. Praying, Lord, what is the topic for today's podcast? I didn't have it. I didn't get the topic till I usually do morning prayers in the night, in the morning. But today's morning prayer was in the afternoon because I I woke up late. I did video, and the video took a long time. So, but I made sure I did the vid, uh, the morning prayers before going into the day's, day's activities. So, evening time, I do TikTok. Then after TikTok, I share it to every channel, every place that I usually share it to. Then after TikTok, I do Facebook outreach. You know, between all these times, I keep asking, God, what is the topic? <laughs> God did not give me. <laughs> after the Facebook, I was still asking, God, what is the topic? By the time I finished the video, I went to the toilet to eat myself. That was where God gave me the topic, and I'm like, God. <laughs> so I didn't have any reason to doubt that that was the topic for tonight's podcast because it was so timely. Like at the time that I need to come for the podcast, that was when God gave me the topic. And the topic is. In the fire, I will be with you. You know, I don't even know how to put the topic. I just want to read the Bible passage. That is Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. It says, when I pass through the waters, I will be with you. The water will not overflow you. When you pass through the fire, you will not be burned. And the flame will not kindle upon thee. You know, I read it and... I was like, God, what was the topic from this? But I knew what God wants me to see. Like, when you are passing through the fire, God will be with you. Okay, the first thing that came to my mind is, through the fire, God will be with you. And I'm like, if I think God will be with you, people will not understand. That fire must be there. So I now to check the topic and the Bible passage. When you pass through the fire, it will not harm you, something like that. But I didn't really see the topic there. So, but I know what God wants me to talk about. And that is, in the fire, God will be with you. 
so the topic is coming again in the fire god will be with you let me see the total in the fire god will be with you so um let me use another bible passage relating to this psalm 23 there's a verse of the bible that says though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me and then you know the time a someone one comedy or how do i call it is it comedy i'll call it like comedy post yeah and i said what did i find go <laughs> In the valley of the shadow of death, like what do I what do you mean by when you pass through the valley of the shadow of death? What do you want to go and do there? <laughs> you understand? But the real thing is if you are a child of God, you will have that type of times in your life. Some people will be want to tell you, ah, you are the one that is doing all this to yourself. But I tell you, there are times that it's not that you want to pass through the fire or you want to go through that valley by yourself. But because you would, you would rather not sin against God sometimes. So this topic is for people who have decided that I am going to do the will of God. So if you are the type that you are always looking for shortcuts to solution of your problems, this topic may not be for you. Because... <clears throat> That means you always help yourself before God arrives to help you. But this topic is for people that they will always want to wait on God. In these days now that we that most men, don't let me say all men, most men, they are all especially if you go to, to Instagram or internet, Twitter and all sorts, they are only attracted to physical attraction of women, maybe they put out the breasts and fake wig, fake eyelashes, fake nails, and all sorts like that. <clears throat> and then you, you are a child of God. You want to marry. And then they be like, ah, are, they, are these not men? <laughs> they are not men, but <laughs> they are not the other material. So in that situation, you are not even trying to help yourself to have a man. I've had experiences where... Some men will say, hey, is that you sleep with me or there's no relationship? You understand? So, like a girl, like a sharp girl now, we say, ah, let me sleep with him and have husband do. And truly, people will, people will celebrate you on the day of the wedding now. They will say, ah, congratulations. Even if you get pregnant before the wedding, so they will congratulate you. They will say all sorts of things to justify the situation. But is that the will of God for you? You see, what I'm trying to say here is that this topic is really for people that would rather stand with God than bowing down to the worldly standard or to Satan's standard to get out of a situation. You see, one of the reasons why I'm praying to God to help me to leave Ukraine is you know before when i was down down let me call it down down like when i didn't have a lot of things and i've known and i could manage least something small i was believing that at the top it was going to be easy to acquire wealth and like this country we allow you to make progress in wealth and riches but when i got to the top and i saw it that oh my god the people at the top are so wicked there's no they don't even want you to progress they don't some of them want to bully you and bully you down back to where you are coming from and i'm like god what kind of country is this and another thing is some people told me if you want to progress and live a comfortable life here you have to be doing some things that are sinful you have to do some jobs that are sinful and i'm like god i cannot do this i can't please take me to a country where i don't have to sin against god before i take care of my needs 
You understand? So what are we trying to say there? Some people look at you and be like, you are not wise. You should do what your friends are doing. You should do what everybody is doing. Like the uh, popular saying, when you are in Rome, you behave like the Romans. How are people making money here? You too, you want to make money in that way. So people will look at you. When you say no, you are not going to do it. So those are the um, fire that we are talking about. You as a child of God, a, a female, you say, no, I'm not going to sleep with man to keep a relationship. We have discussed all these things on our channel. And you don't have to sleep with man to keep a relationship and all sorts of things like that. People will look at you, ah, you are not wise, so, you know, this recently or not so recent, a lot of younger people were getting married. And... Many people were looking at me like, hey, you are still single. Yes, I'm single because I will not do what those younger girls are doing. Many of them are desperate. They can do anything. Even if the man says, come and mess up with me, he will do it. She will do it just to have a marriage. Even if the man is mistreating her, she will not mind. He will go and allow it and just to have the marriage. You understand? So when you are passing through, so those are the situations we are talking about as the fire. You understand? And God says he will be with you in the fire. It will not quench you. Maybe you have to sleep under the bridge because you will rather not sleep with man. You will rather not go and sell your body for money to, to, sleep, to pay your rent. It's like passing through the fire. That's under the bridge. It's not convenient at that time. You know? At that particular time, it's not convenient. So that is the fire we are talking about. God is saying, I will be with you in the fire. You know, it just dawned on me that ever since I got to this country, I've been going from one fire situation to another, and I'm like, God, I can't do this anymore. Just use your mighty hand and allow me to move forward to a better country where I can progress and I'm not going from fire to fire because I would rather stay with God. It's not as if those, situations, those countries too, you still not have reasons to stand for God. No, it's not like that. But at least I'm tired of no progress in my life. And to worsen it, after God lifted me up and made me to progress, they stole everything from me, you know? I'm like, God, I can't stay in this country anymore. It's, it's not the best place for me. After I struggled, waited on God, trusted God without sinning against God, then God gave me and made me comfortable, then you steal everything from me. What kind of country is that? I brought a lot of things from Nigeria. I brought a very big leather box. They stole it. In 2019, they stole it. You know? Like, they don't want you to have anything. When they see you as a, as a foreigner, they want to prey on you and something like that. I'm like, God, God, I can't stay in this country. But really, what, I, what I'm trying to talk about here is that in those situations, you know, <coughs> someone would have been in my situation like that. I would have helped herself one way or the other, you know. I remember one girl that was telling me that, ah, when she finished her own school, she just went and met one man. Like she did relationship with the man and the man is the one that is sponsoring her. You know, she did have to go through all these issues. And then many people, when they look at me, oh, you are not wise, you cannot help yourself. You cannot attach yourself to one fine man and one rich, one rich boy and he will help you so that you don't have to go through all these things. <laughs> not saying it's not good for those that are doing it. I am not here to judge you, but when you know what you want, number one, and number two, when you move with the elders, when you move with the wise, you will be wise. The elders have taught me that is not the best way to live life because they have seen from their experiences and their experiences of their friends and colleagues that it doesn't pay. When you jump on a man for his money, later he's going to it's going to insult you. You understand? And we see it online today. The same men that they don't worry, I'll take care of them. 
It's the same man that will come and insult you that you married him because of his money. You understand? If somebody helps you without uh, bullying you into a relationship or love or I don't know what to call the English, like enticing you with the money into love, it's good. You understand? But at the time you are exchanging your love for money or exchanging sex for money, exchanging so that you can take care of you and all sorts of things like that, I don't know. I'm not here to judge. I think it's, to some extent it may not respect you. I'm not saying in all cases. I'm not saying in all cases. Everybody cannot be like me. I'm not saying in all cases. But most of the times, <coughs> it may not respect you. And if you are a lady like me that you respect yourself, you may not want to live your life that way. So what God is trying to explain, this podcast is 15 minutes, so it's 15 minutes already. So what God is trying to tell us here is that God will be with you. Even if you have to go through it for a while. You know that passage of the Bible in, in Peter, is it Second Peter or First Peter? Maybe First Peter 5, 7, 5, 11, something like that. He said, after you have suffered for a while. So that is the fire God is talking about. Let's also look at the three evil children. They passed through the fire. Was it easy? The same fire that burnt those that threw them inside it. How do they tell you it was very difficult fire? Remember <coughs> before this thing happened, that one guy that said, yeah, send your body a picture, Abby, and I will give you money. Ah, God forbid. I said, hey, hey, what's all this? Like, have I become so down, down, down to this extent? Ah, I said I would rather become homeless than for you, than for me to do this rubbish in the, by the grace of God. You know, at that time, somebody would have done it. I'd be like, ah, is it not just money? Is it not just money? You know, some people would prefer to be with a married man taking care of their needs. They will say it's their sugar daddy or sugar boy, whatever they call it, taking care of their needs. They will not have to pay for rent. They will not have to pay for food. You know, those were the two things that was really, really trouble for me for a long time. I would rather suffer it and come out with my integrity than bowing down to the devil, than saying, let me find boyfriend or be sleeping around with man. So that I don't become homeless, so that I don't go through the pain and the suffering of being homeless. No, <coughs> I'd rather go through that homeless situation than to do all that. All these things always come back, you see? And that is why, by the grace of God, I come out of it like I never went through it. That is what God meant when he said, the fire will not burn you and the flame will not kindle upon you. It's because you went in with your integrity and you came out with your integrity. You went in with Jesus, you came out with Jesus. The four, three Hebrew children, they went in with Jesus. They came out with Jesus. They went in with their salvation. They came out with their salvation. That is the meaning. The fourth man in the fire made it comfortable for them. So what is God trying to tell us today? God is saying he will be with you. You know, like I said in one of my podcasts, I said God is sending me out to encourage us or to encourage the world or as many people that will listen to this, that the standard of God is still standing. It's still working. There are a lot of perverse things on the internet that will even make you start thinking maybe God has changed the standard. Because those people that are doing wrong things, that the ones being celebrated and having the fame, you want to think, Maybe God has changed you. No. That's why God is sending me out. To remind us like, no, it hasn't changed. The standard has not changed. <coughs> God will still be with you. If you have to be single, to, because you will rather wait for the man who, who will allow you to do the will of God together, to keep a relationship together that God approves of, you are not losing anything. It may look like you are passing through the fire, but... By the time you come out of it, you will, you, will not, you will not be burned. The fire will not burn you. You are not going to get an unnecessary sickness. I said they tested my blood prayer and everything. They said I'm perfectly fine. I was shocked because I went through a lot. Cold, everything, and they said I'm normal. There's nothing wrong with me. 
And I think the reason why I'm, I'm coughing this much is just the cold of of the night. That's all. It's not as if I'm sick or anything. You understand? And I'm going to be perfectly fine in a few... If I just take some tea or whatever. You understand? So that is it. God will be with you. He will come up by the time you finally meet the man that will treat you right, that will allow you to serve God. It will be perfect. Some people think maybe when you get married at a particular time, the phone will not be there. The phone will still be there. It will still be there. If you never messed yourself up or do anything sinful to to have relationship with God. Imagine you, 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 you pull down the standard of God, you pull it down, and then the man still leaves you. How are you going to live your life? You'll be living your life with shame and regret. Oh, he still eventually left me. After I did, that's why a lot of women cry. After all I did for you. The reason is they say such things is because <clears throat> they know they could have stopped it, but just to please this man, they went low. They lowered their standard. Then the man still messed up. So it's not as if they are trying to say that the, uh, the man didn't give her body, but she knows that she could maintain that high standard and the man will not get close to her. But she decided to, to just trust this man at that time. You understand? Imagine you, you still lower the standard and then the man still leave you. That is double loss now. So by the time the man leaves you and you still have your standard, you, it's, it's not lost to you. Because eventually you're going to find a better man. It just means that man is not a good man. He should go and meet the same people in his carcass. So may God help us. We're going to hand it there. You know, I'm really trying to see if I was <laughs> if I was saying the right thing. But I leave all to God. I want to believe that it's God that is taking charge of the discussions. So we are leaving it to God to interpret it in our hearts. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, we thank you for this word of God that has gone out. Please be glorified. Father, let it do what we are sending out to do. Oh Lord, if you may the Holy Spirit, take all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayer. Help us to do your will. Father, you have been helping me. You have been keeping me. Please continue to keep me. As many people that will also hear this word of God, Father, help us all to turn ourselves to you and say we will serve you and we will do your will. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Bye. Good night.